Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to show you around our fruit and vegetable garden. So we made these uh, reclaimed old railway sleeper beds probably about two years ago but we've not used them first year because we've been filling them up partially with what we had after we dug our pond some topsoil compost you name it everything went in them so the first time we used them was last year didn't go too well but it was part of the experience and uh, this year we wanted to extend our vegetable plot a little bit more so we got rid of a concrete path that went along the garden that you can see in one of our other videos and also we wanted to fence it off um, to keep secure from our chickens and a dog however due to lockdown we didn't have options where to buy wood or materials for it so at the moment it's a temporary uh, chicken wire fence doesn't look too good but it works for now We've got two lines of beetroot growing here. Second round, I'll tell you about it a bit later. Then we've got two lines of carrots, two lines of spinach, again, second round. And then we've got some French beans and marigolds and a random spring onion in there. Okay, so as you can see, some of the beetroot lacking some leaves hence the caging um, so we've sown first lot of beetroot beginning of April I believe and they sprouted looked nice and then suddenly they were gone the same happened to spinach most of it so we started looking into what's going on and we found out there's a gang of sparrows that love beetroot and spinach so hence the caging now first time the cage was a lot lower so it worked for the first week or two um, but then once the plants grew a bit bigger they started reaching it through the um, netting so had to build it a lot higher and wider so now if you want to see the little bastards attacking them we've got a few shots at the end of the video um, but yeah it seems to be working now um, beetroot so after the first um, lot being destroyed completely I've re-sown them and put the cage on and with spinach I managed to keep the same one because you just pick the leaves and they regrow um, apart from a few gaps where the, they were gone completely I've sown a few new bits so it's looking okay considering what happened to it <laughs> but I'm sure with this cage now it's going to grow properly and we can actually have some of the leaves ourselves now the carrots in between they don't seem to be loved by the birds so they're doing all right um had to thin them out a little bit but um the seeds are slightly older got them from a friend from sweden i believe um a few years back so i just attempted to sow those this year and they're still growing um carrots were one of the few things that worked really well last year in our raised beds the thing that was a complete disaster was the Brussels sprouts uh, we've never grown them before we 
plant them way too close to each other and they've been destroyed by thousands of caterpillars so yeah we didn't get too many uh, brussels sprouts ourselves carrots and beans worked really well last year so we're trying that again this year so we've got five plants that i've sown myself on the windowsill in spring have grown really well and the marigolds as well i've sown them myself um so we've got five plants of beans here and six plants on the other bed as well sometime in march i've sown two rows of pak choy and one row of white radish in here so they've gone now um radish didn't do well they've been attacked by slugs or worms or whatever we don't know what that is um but pak choy did really well um we used quite a lot so for the second round i've sown a row of chard there um a row of callaloo if i'm pronouncing that right um just love the picture of, on the packet of the seeds it's um some sort of some type of spinach and then a row of kale as well i've only done these a few days back so nothing showing yet and um, further down we've got two plant of cucumbers here just those were spare ones i just didn't want to check them out and thought i'll plant them in here to see whether it's going to grow or not um got some marigolds um spring onions now with spring onions they're the ones that um you buy in the supermarket in a bunch with a bit of um with a bulb and with the roots on so what i do i put them in the water for a couple of days for the new root shoots to come out and i just plant them randomly around the garden and you've got endless supply of um, spring onion so we've also got some beans here and some more carrot as well so carrots at the end here a slightly different type from the ones over there those were loose seeds these were a strip of seeds that already um, got spaces in between them so you don't have to thin them out um as you can see not all of them grown because the strip went all the way to the back hence why i've planted marigold and some spring onions in between because we've had room um now down there we've got some tomato plants and some flowers uh, petunias and i can't remember what's in between them but um, those were sewn by us as well on windowsill. So down here, that's where the concrete path used to be. So we did an extended vegetable patch here. Now, these guys here, I've not grown them ever before. Um, literally decided to try them when I saw a pack of seeds in the garden centre. These are soybeans or edamame beans. Um, they seem to be growing all right, but we'll see whether we get anything or not because I think I've planted them out a little bit too early, but none of them died, so fingers crossed. Now along the fence I've sown nasturtiums and sweet peas. Now a lot of sweet peas have been attacked by birds, most likely pigeons, so they don't look too healthy, kind of half eaten but fingers crossed we will get some pea pods. Um, the reason I picked nasturtiums, they are good crawlers and I'm hoping that they're going to cover the chicken wire and it's going to look 
a lot nicer than it is right now um, and it goes all along the fence um, now the beans are right up to here that's our sort of cutting point it's our new cherry tree um, that's where the um, concrete post used to be again that took a while to get out and you can see um, how we did that in um, one of our other videos um, now here again we've got a few spring onions again the same ones from the supermarket um, one of the marigolds some more sweet peas and then past the cherry tree it's got a bit of everything here it, we still got the sweet peas and nasturtiums all along the fence however instead of the beans on this side i've got some cucumbers um or gherkins because they're not the long ones they're the short ones and um, in between that i've got some uh, um, dill some chives um, and then the far end i've got a few plants of garlic as well you can see some more tomatoes over the fence in there as well and um, yeah some more sweet peas now some of the sweet peas you've probably noticed are bigger than the others now this this one's already got a pod um the reason why the ones along the fence have been sown straight, straight into the ground about a few weeks after these guys were sown in the in the containers so that's the only reason yeah that's the main vegetable patch So that is our strawberry patch. Um, we've grown them for three years now. First year they were in the, in the bed where the raised beds are now. So raised beds re uh, replaced the strawberries. Um, obviously first year we didn't get too much from fruit. Um, some of them uh, were from my mum's others were actually from the gardens of the churchill house um down in kent i believe uh, we visited a few years back and um, we bought six plants um from the gardens um the strawberries do grow each year um that's why we got them all in one place um kind of put a lot of compost in there we try to water it regularly um because they are up against the hedge and obviously that they do require a lot more water because they've got competition over there um they look really well this year even though i did worry about them at some point because we were letting out our chickens into the main garden at the end of last summer or throughout winter and they did love to get into this bed and kind of they I thought they destroyed it but thank god they're all back there's plenty of fruit um you can see here um I think they are still a little bit behind due to the um position we've got them in because it's not the m the most um it's not the sunniest part of our garden however last year we've got loads the only thing soon once they start growing bigger we'll have to cover it up with some netting because the gangs of the birds nearly destroyed our last year's crop so we've got it right in time so this year we'll have to do the same to make sure we get some for ourselves as well so if you wonder why 
the bamboo sticks in the strawberry plot well those sweet peas that I've sewn into the container um, and I've, I thought I'm gonna have some early ones uh, before the ones along the fence grow up um, I've planted a few amongst the strawberries and as you can see they did not do very well um, so I don't have proof who was it but I have a feeling it's been pigeons because we do know they love sweet pea plants so out of one two three four five six I've only got one survivor which is down here and doesn't look the healthiest one um, but a lot healthier than the others, unfortunately. Um, so let me take you to our greenhouse now. By the way, we've got um, an apple and a plum tree here, which were here already when we bought the house. Um, we moved in end of on Halloween's day actually um, so we weren't sure what the plum tree was until the next season um, but yeah the, the fruit are amazing first year we had amazing amount of plums and apples and they are delicious and I managed to make some plum jam in the first year which I'm hoping for this year as well. Now, our greenhouse is in the chicken territory and they are a little bit busy at the moment. Belfast sink was here at the back of the garden when we moved in and only this spring I decided to try and make a dust bath for the girls and actually now is the first time I've got an actual proof that they are using it. Okay so this is our tomato jungle so funny story about tomatoes this year so with all the lockdown and everything normally um, I get our tomato plants from the garden center now this year it all happened so quick and uh, I was like uh oh I'm not gonna get any tomato plants this year so I bought some seeds sown them just in case I don't get to buy any. Um, the first attempt didn't work really well because um, the tray I was using probably was not the best and um, only one or two seeds germinated. Um, so then after that, after a few weeks, um, it was getting the lockdown um, got was put in place and um, the garden centres were shut and I thought oh no it's not going to be good I need to get some tomatoes um, so what I did I made some uh, homemade propagators um, out of water bottles and I've thrown all the seeds I've, I've had left in uh, one of those thinking oh, if I get five of whatever that's going to be great and I didn't get five probably got 25 germinate and grow and they love that bottle so much that pretty much all seeds grew 
and um, yeah I ended up giving loads of tomato plants to family and friends and um, yeah hence why you've got tomato plants growing outside the greenhouse as well in the around flower bed flower beds and in the pots um because i didn't have space in the greenhouse anymore now these were the first three um just the general your sort of medium-sized tomato fruit plants so these three here these were the ones that were the second lot and grew so quickly and so well the ones i've given to the family and friends so these are the first three plants a lot bigger than the others um now i really love black cherry tomatoes and i couldn't find anywhere any seeds or plants um in the, in the beginning but then i found the website where i can order them and so that's why they they were sown a little bit later than they should be and they are slightly smaller and they're behind me along with um, some um, um, beefsteak tomatoes and uh, um, some gold yellow gold tomato plants as well so they are sort of at the back now I might have overdone with the amount of plants I've got in this greenhouse but because I had so many I didn't want to throw away any of them um, so we're gonna see how it works out but we've been using um, well the first year we've been using this um, wool compost that we've been recommended in our local garden centre and it's got loads of nutrients in them um, and hopefully I'll have enough for all of them to grow well and have loads of fruit. Um, so we've, I always grew tomatoes on this side and cucumbers on this. Don't know why, just just did that um, that way since the beginning. Now, as you notice, they, these cucumbers were sown same time as the ones outside. But you can tell they love the greenhouse a lot better than the outside because these are probably twice as bigger as the ones outside and some of them have got little baby cucumbers growing already so this one here and that one there some more blossoms down there and that guy here is a watermelon now whether we're gonna get any watermelons or not i don't know because it's the first time growing um one of those for us Oi. so down here at the very beginning of the greenhouse um got some stuff that I've planted really early in the spring like the um, gem lettuce and some dill and spring onions um, um, the reason I've still got them here you can see they're not looking um, the best um, it's because I keep pulling them one by one and giving it to the chickens they love them um also the parsley here um uh, it's been planted last year the good thing about it it does regrow um even after the chickens destroy it completely um because in winter time we do let them come in here um they have their dust baths and just a little bit of secluded area for them to be in during the horrible winter months um i'm trying to grow some of the um chives in here as well but um they are still not sure how they're doing hopefully they're gonna get better and um down here 
we've got a um, pepper that I'm growing in the pot. I'm, I've taken it normally down at the path um, in the greenhouse and just moved it for the filming. And it's grown loads since we got it. And it's already got some buds coming up. So hopefully it's going to turn out into some nice um, peppers at some point. It's the first time I've tried growing um, chilies this year. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed it's going to work. And why don't we pull out one of the lettuce plants and give it to the girls. Thank you for watching today's video and if you've got any comments uh, please let us know below whether you think we did something wrong whether you want to know something more about how we did it um, and subscribe if you want to um, see the other videos of how we made our veg patch um, around the raised beds um, how we got rid of the concrete path going along our garden and also uh, sometime soon we're going to put the video up how we built our cocktail bar in the garden the one that serves amazing cocktails <laughs>